Oh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dallas Greenlight, and welcome to Colossal Championship Wrestling, and welcome more importantly to Meltdown, our first pay-per-view event, and we are airing live from Milan, Italy. So we are going to be getting on the way of this card, and we're going to be starting off hardcore, man. As we see, two ADWE stars, Blake and Primetime, going at it for the First Blood Championship. Now, I've been waiting for quite a while to get this underway, but I reckon, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to enjoy this broadcast. Now, as with everything, this will only go on for so long, but I believe we'll be able to manage. <laughs> yeah, first blood championship online. Only one way to win. I do now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing the epic voice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the contest is a singles bout and is scheduled for one fall via first blood and is to crown the inaugural Colossal Championship Wrestling First Blood Champion. Introducing the competitors first, currently making his way down the aisle, Blake. And here comes the man who's infamously, well, infamously he bleeds every match, but he's looking to prove that in the new company he does not bleed and he will defy the odds and become the first blood champion. He's looking to become the first ever champion in Colossal Championship Wrestling. But first, he has to be able to get through this man. <laughs> Quite a tall task, and yes, that is a bad pun. So we are here at Meltdown. Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing his opponent, currently riding his way to the ring. Prime time! And. Well, he's on the motorcycle, and there's our referee on the outside, Toyota Suzuki. He'll be officiating all the matches tonight, but these two, they've had their own spat of problems in recent weeks. Those that utilize Twitter will be able to see it, but for now, they're looking to prove once again who's the more dominant Blake was the during the last con contest between the two but it might not be a bedtime story for Blake but it might be new blood in sports entertainment professional wrestling and there's that first blood championship they'll be fighting for it and of course they're gonna do the announcements now oh no they're not there's the first blood championship Toyota Suzuki holding it I am proud for us. Blake going up against Primetime. Ladies and gentlemen, get Toyota Suzuki to ring that bell. And immediately we're underway. Oh, that. Just neck breaker. 
it right across to me, who are on the side of the head to be going for, and oh, just absorbs that chop. Oh, drop down, kick caught, dragon screw you, says Blake, and a kick across the chest, in control on the opening of this matchup, and the power clap. Remember, folks, anything goes. Just whoever manages to make their opponent bleed first walks out with a brand new championship belt around their waist. And oh, knee lift. Marriage chop. And oh, knees right to the face. So escape that sidewalk. And oh, just the barrage of forearms into the corner. And now a punch to midsection. Oh, got him up. Ooh, tree of woe position. What does Primetime have in mind? Oh, just knee pressed right into the midsection repeatedly and he's just hurting him at this point and a kick quite a personal confrontation between these two that's for sure but now oh, breaks his arm over the shoulder and these two looking to tear each other limb from limb Oh, he's got him up. Suplex. Oh, he stalls it and <laughs> just drops him with the vertical suplex. I'm looking forward to seeing who emerges victorious here. Because both these men, they want to be the top of this new company. They want to be the first winner here. They want to be the first champion. There's only one way to do that, and that's by making the other bleed. And it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world, that's for sure. And thank you, Ben, for the host and the various retweets. But, oh, Blake going to the top. Claw, oh, elbow drop, but nobody home. Primes I moved out the way and get seen into the corner. Oh, here's the clothesline to the back of the head. And neither man really trying at this point in time to bust open the other. Surely that's to their detriment, but I suppose oh, there's the stunner. That's what won in the last match. And oh, he's looking for the Fishner. He's looking to draw out the blood here. Fishner, but no, prime time. Isn't bleeding just yet. And elbow to the knee. Kick to the midsection. Oh, got the pump handle. What's he looking for here? Pump handle. Fall away. Slam. And he's just flexing, showing off the guns. Stomp to the wrist now. Yes, first blood championship on the line. And not much. I, I woke up and went, it's time. <laughs> Oops, stomps to the smaller back and oh, boot across the face. He's not letting, he's maintained the wrist control though. What's, oh no, come on, the first blood, don't do that. Oh, he's... Okay, he, he's decided against it. He did still roll through with the knee, but thought he was going to try and snap his arm back. That would have been a bit callous. In any case, prime time here. What's... Uh-oh, he's... Oh, God, just manhandling him. Spinning him around and oh, drops him. Face bouncing off the man. He's just showing off his sick arm crossing abilities there. Oh, how a drop in there. Another to follow it up in Toyota Suzuki. He's got to make sure that no blood occurs on the chest either. And generally we see blood from the head. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of the best. I was going to say ten of the best, but no Blake decided to give us more than we paid for. Oh, close light, forearm. Oh, sling blades. Just hold up. Oh, my. Prime time. The lights went out. And he's straight back to his feet. Oh, God. Powerbomb position. To the outside. And <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. I mean, first blood can occur anywhere. But these two start it. Oh, Blake. Just like that, the point of the elbow, and Blake is your inaugural first blood champion.
Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Henjorn New Colossal Championship Wrestling First Blood Champion, Blake. And his resiliency shone through there. He he got power bombed to the outside by Prime Time, but Prime Time took too long to follow him out, and well, he ended up getting caught off the elbow. But now. Nah. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a reminder to you all at home. And, well, we'll be seeing the hydration nation of ATWE fame and the revolution of, well, ATWE and KWE fame rip. And they'll be going on. Timothy Oliver and Ivy going off against Skull and Lee. Now this here is not for a title, but we will be having a tag title match later on tonight. And it should be a great contest, in my opinion. Two tag teams that I'd take a wild guess that none of you guys have ever seen before. Stay hydrated, you know it down there in the chat. Up in the rafters. There we go, that's what I'm going to refer to the chat being as. Up in the rafters. But speaking of staying hydrated, I'm going to quickly grab a drink whilst this loading screen. <laughs> oh yes, the dabs. <laughs> And it's taking a while to load, but that is the case with any good old fashioned cool universe, especially with custom universe attributes and shows and such. But shouldn't be too long till we are underway. Once we get underway, wow, there'll be no stopping us. And unless it's stuffed up, it should be the same ATWE rules here in Colossal Championship Wrestling, meaning no count outs in tag team competitions. But let's head down to ringside. Let's get underway. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a tag team bout scheduled for one fall. Introducing the competitors first, cutting the way down the aisle, the team of Timothy Oliver and Power Aiden Ivy, the Hydration Nation. And these two, quite the impressive figures. I mean, at least in terms of their dedication to staying hydrated, you can you can see it even on their bodies as they make their way down the aisle. There's plenty of hydration, plenty of fluids to go around, but unfortunately for them, over in ATWE, they've not had the greatest start. Currently 0-2, but this is new grounds here in Colossal Championship Wrestling, and they will be looking to hope and pray that they can pick up the victory here tonight on our first ever pay-per-view CCW Meltdown Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing their opponents. Currently making their way down the aisle, the team of Skull and Lee Revolution. And these two, I mean, I guess a similar statement could be said about them over in ATWE as well. Perhaps not the most successful there, but again, new grounds are looking to draw some momentum in amongst themselves and if they manage to do so successfully well there's only one place to go from here ladies and gentlemen and that is up 
But in any case, Scar on your left, Lee on your right for those that are unawares. <laughs> uh, sadly, Blake, it, the like the channel points, uh, I'm 90 percent sure the emote unlock. It's only for 24 hours, which is silly, but it's a thing. And there's just a leaping lariat there by Power A Navi against Ali. Start us off. <laughs> and for those that, well, I haven't actually announced any of the card prior to this, but there is a dream match happening in our semi main event, ladies and gentlemen. We will be seeing the current reigning and defending Marshall Mayhem champion of ATWE taking on one half of the ATWE Tag Team Champions. That's right, T Dog versus Arch. Yes, 24 hours a day of winning penguins. It, it, it's a great thing, but Aiden Ivan out. Oh, gets called for the elbow to the midsection. And that's what cost prime time. Well, not to the midsection, the elbow, but. We go to the outside now, and here is the moment of faith. Does Toyota Suzuki feel like counting today? No, he does not. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it worked. But, oh, just a brawl and Sion on the outside, and Lee, perhaps the smallest man in this matchup, going up against Power A. Nivey, and he's trying his very best, his utmost. <laughs> That's the spur. <laughs> yeah. And oh, brutal right there by Lee, and these two just brawl on the outside. Oh, goodness me. It's a marquee match. And we'll be seeing two, uh, at least one impressive superstar, uh, the longest reigning ATWE NXT champion of season five, Sean Hunter, will be going up against. The new superstar known as Lewis Williamson to crown the first ever Colossal Championship Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion in the main event. Who will win out of the mat that match? Will it be the big owl? Will it be the hitman? Yeah, well sadly ATWE has a lot more protection staying Colossal Championship Wrestling, so we don't have health insurance here so sadly <laughs> you gotta go fight <laughs> in any case skull legal man now and power meets power and 640 pounds allegedly going up against power and ivy trying to ensure that the hydration stops but no and ivy knows one thing that's to stay hydrated i mean at this point, we don't have the infrastructure for it, but we don't have any, obviously, steroided people. No performance enhancing drugs taken just yet, but... Oops, skull. Caught in that half camel clutch, and he's right next to the ropes, but... He's opted to just sweep the leg, rather than just reach out to the rope. And, oh, he's got him up. Suplex. Oh, tosses him into the corner. And gets caught with the elbow. Elbow pad on a Nivey's elbow, so no risk it. Oh god, what a sit out. Double. Oh, he's gone up top to Ada Suzuki. He took out to Ada Suzuki. Obviously, not enough hydration going on there, but from the top, frog flash. Oh my goodness, send to the pen now. Perhaps the win. One. But Lee's there to break it up, and there goes Timothy Oliver. Running the ropes and no tease is not in Colossal Championship Wrestling. And currently we've only got 28 men on the books and I reckon after Yeah, after this show is concluded I'll go through all of the various individuals in our company and the tag teams too. But from the top, a Nivy Elbow oh, drop right to the heart and you're too blank oh goodness broken up again Lee ensuring that the hydration nation doesn't pick up the victory here but he's going up top once more and Twitch Suzuki telling him to get that frog splash again 
Into the pen for the win. One, two. He kicks out. Lee breaking up the pins before must have saved his energy. And now Timothy Oliver finally gets tagged in. First time he's legal this match. And well, he's got a hold of Skull. What's he got in mind? Leans him against the ropes now. Oh, punch caught. Oh, returns fire. And running into the DDT. Oh, lifts him to his feet. Jawbreaker just drops onto his knees. Those pads protecting him. And oh, he's on the apron and Skull. Tactical retreat to the corner where he tags in Lee. He's not going so well against Lee, so let's oh, going so well against Oliver, so let Lee have a go at Timothy. And lifted to his feet now. What's he got mind? I trip to the corner. Nope, turns him around and oh just running splash. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me! Choo choo! Here comes the caterpillar! And what in tarnation! Oh, oh goodness, just the shoulder block! And I don't think Lee appreciated that worm. Not in the slightest. And oh, he's thrown up the X. Perhaps he's he's gonna injure. Timothy Oliver here, but he's got to take a lot to injure Timothy Oliver. And oh, bow bomb lifted up. Oh, hey, he punches out of it and hops down. Oh, gets caught though. Oops, he uh, oh, oh, good to the bridge. One, two, oh, kick out. Just to be able to get the shot off the mat. And again, and Ivy wipes out Toyota Suzuki. It's two bumps in the same match and just tell him to get out of the ring and up oh, off the top. Timothy Oliver, almost no water in the pole. Finally enough, considering who it is, but Lee, he saw him coming out of the corner of his eye. And Spine Buster now, he's looking to put him away. He's calling for, he's calling for the end. This could be it, kick to the midsection, arms hooked for the pedigree, into the pin and the win, one, two, oh, broken up by Aiden Ivy, and the free call there, oh, lift, punch there by Skull, and tries to lift him, but no, oh, ref, not happy with them, they're not vacating the ring, and Timothy Oliver, he's going up. Skull is leaving the rings, and Ivy is too. And Lee oh, gets caught with that climbing elbow to the shoulder, but still has enough wear off to get the tag. And here comes Skull, but oh, Oliver not letting him up. Oh, catches the leg for the elbow, and oh, what a forearm! Drop kick. He turned around right into the drop kick, did Oliver. Timothy Oliver made his way straight back to his feet. And he got caught, but he's about to get caught off something even worse. But no, he was about to, but Timothy Oliver, he makes the tag and... Oh, cap a kick. Oh, cap a kick, well, avoided the cap of kick. And, oh, oh, forearms and... Oh, Larry at that time, he stays down. And uh oh, and Ivy going up top. What's he got in mind? Front splash! Into the pen. One, two, but Lee, Lee managing just barely to save him. It should have been it, but Lee made it to his feet in time. And Stay hydrated. That's it. Okay, I'm getting rid of Nightbot. I just, you know, that's easier. <laughs> oh God, again! He's busted open. Referee count it. One, two, three. And 
Hydration Nation. They stay hydrated. Welcome back. Yep, Nightbot can no longer haunt us. He'd be a banified. <laughs> but it took two thanks to Lee. But yeah, the frog splash from the top, that should have been it, but the last second the bottom of the screen there you can see slides in and <laughs> gets in. Milliseconds and there it is to stay hydrated. And ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners by way of headfall, Timothy Oliver and Aiden Ivy. A hydration nation. And they picked up the victory here, and congratulations to them. And now, for those that are in the need of a bathroom break, here is your piss break match, ladies and gentlemen. We're seeing Patroclus versus Generic Entrance, Owen Pierce. And for those of you that aren't avid followers of the Archerful YouTube channel, First off, why not? <laughs> but one Owen Pierce is a featured son of a bitch from those 2K19 videos. So here we go, Owen Pierce. Looking to pick up a victory here, but so is Patroclus, who's on a bit of a roll. And <laughs> Patroclus and Owen Pierce singles competition the first straight up singles match here in Colossal Championship Wrestling and it's about to be underway the greatest wrestling match <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And here he is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen on the following contest is a singles bout scheduled for one fall. Introducing the competitors first. Carly makes way down the aisle. He loves Amy Love. Patroclus. And Patroclus looking to well prove his love for Amy Love by picking up a victory here over an ATWE he's on a bit of a sh well, win streak at the moment he in recent week well recent appearances he's been Lemon Man and Angus of Wyatt of the Destin but the moment Patroclus and ladies and gentlemen now introducing his opponent Owen Piers Jobber entrance. <laughs> I'm not editing Owen Pierce's entrance. It's how it is on communications. So. <laughs> and here we go. Two refs and a jobber in a ring. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, catches the leg. And Dragon Screw You says Owen Pierce. Kicked it oh, right across the chest. And Patroclus in the world of hurt right now. Kick again. Iron Pierce in control, but Patroclus looking to fight back. And Iron Pierce, one of the rare times he can say this about him. He's the big man in this matchup. Oh, went for an arch KO. Homage to his brief tag team partner on the YouTubes. But, no, Patroclus had him scouted. And, oh, brutal knife edge chopped by the spinning soul kick and a forearm punch. And oh, pulls him right into the knee, the face buster. And oh goodness me, what? He's got his arm. He's pinning it to the mat with his foot, and oh, stomps the hand, and again stomping the hand, again. What is? Okay, I guess he he's going for the pin off of that, but of course not even a one count. Patroclus may be a joke, but. 
that's a stomp to the hands not enough to stop someone lifting their shoulder off the mat oh and there's ah. <laughs> oh, oh. evasion in the corner and oh what a slap however hand palm strike to the chest drops down went for a super kick but now oh, he was a super miss more than anything oh drop kick to the back drives him into turnbuckles and taunts at the wrong time and gets caught back suplex and Patroclus does not look happy and he's lifting him up and this will be an interesting one because I don't know any of these guys is finishing maneuvers so oh, except for the Patroclus I don't know what Owen Pierce is about and drop it though and oh, oh just jawbreaker oh sweeps the legs out and he's landed face first on the mat that's just all oh, forearm now and oh Slap to the back of the head now and off the ropes. Nope. Kick. Nope. Missed. Harsh whip by Iron Pierce. Oh, back elbow. Harsh whip from one side of the ring to the other. Nope. Kicks. Caught. Sweeps the leg out from underneath him and picks it up for the single leg Boston Crab and the, the ropes are in sight and the ref makes sure he can actually see the ropes if he touches them but. Patroclus, he, he manages to escape, just, it didn't look like Iron Pierce was wrenching back hard enough, he wasn't seemingly in too much pain, I mean it was a submission hold for sure, but wasn't making it, wasn't milking it for what it was worth, and corner to the corner, Irish whip, and, oh, monkey flip, was sending more around the ring, and, oh, lifting up, he, He's flexing what he doesn't have, and Albert dropped right across the chest at pin. One, two, okay, kick out at two, but oh, he's lifting him to his feet, but gets the leg swept. And Iron Pierce, oh, gets caught, and Patroclus, oh, wait, oh, power slam off the ropes, Patroclus, oh, he moved, he moved, kick, he, he avoided the Patroclus. And oh, double knees to the back of there. What? The first person I believe I've ever seen to avoid the Patrol curse. And I mean, he had to. There's only one way that could have gone, and it would have been bad. We had taken that maneuver, but into the corner now. And Owen oh, Pierce looking for something. Oh my god. Slice bread number two. Dead to the pan, past the win. One, two. Patroclus kicks out. <laughs> oh, but on Pierce, he's not finished with him. Oh no. Oh, he's got the captain's hook, but wow, it was his feet were amongst the ropes to a Suzuki expert refereeing. And now on Pierce, frog splash, five star variety from the top. And to the for the win. One, two, three. He had to go up high to put him down to on Pierce, but he does what Angus should have been able to do. <laughs> and Owen Pierce picking up the victory. Patroclus, he went for the Patroc curse, but Iron Pierce, he evaded it, and just managing to, apparently him flexing his bicep into an elbow drop is highlight worthy. I, I don't know about that game, but there it is, here it is, he did the power slam, and well, they didn't show it, typical game, but typical replays, Pierce for it, sets so on the title. <laughs> but there, feet were amongst the ropes, so Iron Pierce had to go up top, he hit the frog splash, and ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner by web pinball, Owen Pierce, and hello Toyota Suzuki, <laughs> we were inside the ref, <laughs> oh that's it, ah, now this here, fatal five way ladder match, the winner is the next person to challenge what well, will be the first person to challenge whoever is the inaugural CCW world champion uh, he just 
you follow and you tell me what the hashtags of your character are and I'll be sure to download them and hopefully be able to get them on to next card. We might wind up live booking another card depending on how we go. Thank you for the follow. But center of... Let's do it from left to right. The graphics. Jesse Woodward, Farron Gotanami, Barry Starr, Henry Allen coming out of retirement for this. A ladder match, you crazy old man. And Eddie Natoli. <laughs> yes, that will... All five impressive competitors in their own right. This will be the first, yeah, joint tag nation. That different, different universe entirely. But what hydration nation? Well, uh, <laughs> are you joining the hydration nation, Blake? <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, you are. Uh, Preeminent champion, Blake. So they will stay true until either Sean Hunter or Lewis Williamson walks away with the CCW World Heavyweight Championship, or maybe he double count out. We don't have a champion. Hmm, that could be the case. Here's hoping that doesn't happen. Many event it does. The winner of this ladder match and those two triple threat inside this pit of danger. <laughs> so as we <laughs> you got a title match be happy <laughs> technically it was like stacked in your favour as well because Blake is notorious for bleeding <laughs> in, in regular matches let alone the first blood match where it was the win condition <laughs> never mind that because we're about to be underway. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a fatal five-way ladder match to determine the first competitor for the Colossal Championship Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the competitors first, kind of makes way down the aisle, fighting out of Milwaukee, Barry Star. And funnily enough, he used to work at Starbucks, did Barry Star. And he's making his debut here for CCW, making his televised debut in general, because he's only ever worked backyard as this man. So I. It is going to be interesting to get a peek at what this kid's got. He's got some funky hair, that's for sure. And... Oh, what is that room? Yeah, his first real match, I mean... Here comes the next competitor, though. Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing the second competitor, Kanye makes way down the aisle. He is... Fighting out of Paddy France, he is the French gut wrench machine, Henry Allen. And this kid is not a kid, he's an old man, 60 years old. This, wait, no, 59 turning 60 this year, Henry Allen. His son, part of the destiny, but he's a great wrestler in his own work, in his own right. He, Second generation wrestler is Henry Allen. He wrestled for about 30 years before. About, no, 40. Yeah, 40, 45 years he wrestled. Had about a two year retirement. And well, he's back, ladies and gentlemen. And what a way to come back. Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing the third competitor, Connie McZoey, down the aisle. Finding out of Yamaguchi, Japan, winging tonight at 256 pounds. He is deaf by a thousand kicks per cell of five. Farron. Gotcha. Nami. And there he goes. Here he comes. There he goes. He's looking to kick the head off all these hoes. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying here, but Farron gotcha Nami. Lethal kicks.
and he's looking to well hopefully get a world championship opportunity here as is everyone in this match but so is this man Eddie Natoli make his way to the ring and cane in hand Ooh, ladies and gentlemen now introducing the fourth competitor fighting his way out of the great state of Missouri wing and snap at 193 pounds Eddie the fly guy Natoli don't know why the ring announcer said Nato lie, but Eddie Natoli made his way to the ring. <laughs> and yes, I'm aware that I am also the ring announcer. <laughs> I just like grooving myself. <laughs> but anyway, cane in hand, will that come into effect during this matchup? We'll find out. We still awaiting the arrival of the sneakiest bastard in this match, by my reckoning. One Jesse Woodward could have been one half of the ATWE Tag Team Champions so he didn't get wiped out backstage, but he's got another opportunity here tonight. Similar vein to the eight man war that he competed in once upon a time, but. Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing the fifth and final competitor currently making his way down the aisle, Jesse Woodward. And this here is a recurring problem at Colossal Championship Wrestling. We like to burn the front row alive. It's what got us shut down last time, but. Apparently we haven't learned how lesson that will Jesse Woodward's paying good money for it. <laughs> oh, oh. And here he goes. He's entering the ring. You can see him looking up at that money in the bank. Well not money in the bank, just that regular briefcase. It may as well be money in the bank. But rather than anywhere you want you have to challenge for a title at the next pay-per-view <laughs> and here we go folks we're about to be underway Jesse Woodward just looking out amongst the crowd and you gotta figure this man here he's got quite a good chance of this his whole MO has been a sneaky son of a bitch Barry Star eating a totally and oh, Barry starts straight to Woodward and Natoli and Gotchinami. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one to call. By fun, I mean how. Oh, back out by there by Allen. Oh, gut wrench. Nope. And merely gets out of it. Oh, straight jacket, German. And Barry Star just beating on an old man, getting Natoli trying to stop him. Oh, punch caught punch of his own and yes oh punch punch Barry Star's head into hitting Natoli's head forced to hit but did Henry Allen crafty old man he is but hitting Natoli slips out the back oh gets caught off the drop toe hold into the rope and oh my goodness Jesse Wood would just drop here and gotcha now onto those steps well threw him into him but the sound they made and Natoli, oh god, he's looking to break the old man's up. Ah! That's not nice. Not at all, and everyone back in the ring now, and oh, running neck twist and a kick to the top of Barry Star's head by hitting Natoli, and now it's Gotchinami. Woodward is out the ring, but Gotchinami, we're going to follow him out there, whilst Natoli and Henry Allen, they have the ring to themselves. And Oh, shoulder tackle. Oh, lifting him. Oh, God. <laughs> his, his feet. He tried getting some purchase on those steps on the outside before he got lifted up, but no such luck. And, oh, kick there by Natoli. Elbow by Allen. Kick caught. Oh, God. Just plants him. Back suplex. Oh, no. Atomic drop by Barry Starr right on his... Barry, yeah, I was going to try and make a, 
asterisk, but uh, didn't really come off now, did it? And oh god, straight jacket, electric chair drop! And Barry Star with Allen just plants him, and Woodward just off silver cap! And Barry Star now grabbing the ladder, oh, swept the leg, did Gotchinami! Just a slick style leg sweep and over the top. Oh, right to the toes of Henry Allen and sets up the ladder and Gotchinami now with Barry Star and slides but gets caught. Oh, face first into the ladder. He took out the base of the ladder and damn it, he was going to go for his finisher with the ladder on him, but Henry Allen got up. Oh, that would have been cool because it was a shooting star. Oh, damn. Yeah, well, but oh, Jesse Woodward with the ladder in hand, he's taking everyone out. And this is why I would suspect he'd be a crafty bugger. He would win this because he's not afraid to do things like that. A ladder shot for everyone. But oh, Eddie Natoli, he's climbed it, but Barry Star sees him and pushes over the ladder. And oh, Jesse Woodward. Ah, oh, there it is, the electric chair drop in now, how well drop to no one, then a storm and a kick there by Gotchinami, and the <laughs> Woodward again with that ladder, oh, he then totally sneaking up behind him though, and oh, just gets the ladder punched out of his hands by Gotchinami, maybe proficient with his legs, but doesn't stop him from having a strong right, and oh, just runs right into Natoli and rolls out the ring to escape whatever that was. Henry Allen with the ladder now in hand. Oop. Plants Woodward and oh, right to the shins as he's rolling out. And up Cloverleaf. Oh, right there. And up. Inverted gut wrench. Suplex. And Henry Allen. Oh, I should get in the toll, he sends him to the apron. And punch. Off oh, he goes to the outside here. Kicked in midsection by Gotanami and oh drop to hold and that ladder. Oh, gut wrench suplex combination on the outside. And oh god. The third one is coming up, but oh god, neck breaker on the ropes there by Barry Starr. What a callous thing and the crowd are counting along. And Henry Allen with the ladder now. What is Jesse Woodward doing? Oh God, man! The fist drop to the outside, and Eddie Natoli in a world of pain, bounced off the mat, the apron, and Henry Allen. Oh God! Wait, no. Got wrench, deadlift. Turns him around. Power bomb to the ladder. The back of the head. Bats and up the ladder. And there's the ladder to the outside. Henry Allen just murdered a kid. He just ended this kid's career before it could even begin. And he sets up the ladder now. He wants the challenge for that world championship, no matter who's the champ. And oh, power bomb shoulder breaker on the outside. And Eddie, he hasn't realised that Henry's gone for the briefcase with the championship opportunity in it but Barry Star trying it in the totally helping he's a large lad as Henry Allen and ah oh, electric chair drop and Barry Star with hitting the totally and Henry's rolled Jesse's oh, foot's in a lot of pain now oh to the arm now and oh god Oh, just with the ladder right to the side, and Eddie Natoli going to take advantage, but no, Eddie stops whatever Gotchinami was looking for, and Jesse Woodward, oh, oh, right into the ladder with that, just sends his shoulder into the ladder, looking to dislocate it, and just hurt his opponent, so they can't pull down that briefcase, by the looks of it, that seems to be game plan, and that's a bow clap, everyone else on the outside trying to recover, whilst these two go at it, Oh, Nick Breaker. He, he's got a bit of else, uh, a bit of what's McCoy Parkinson's in his old age. 
So his hands are very shaky, but Eddie Natoli now, he's gone up, he's gone up for the briefcase. And, oh, Henry, Henry's come up as well, and oh, Cole catches it, and the punch, Cole returns the favor, and the punch again, punch again, punch again, one more, oh, blocks it. And, oh God, it's just a brawl ensuing up there, and, that's right, that overexerting. Oh, Henry Allen down. And it is totally gets punched. And now it's done. Got you over. Oh, God. Right into Robert Sober kick. And oh, punched the side of the head. And Barry Starr in a world of trouble because he's going to the Woodworks. Lifts up the ladder and he's setting it up center of the ring now. Oh, stomp to the arm and Baron Gotchinami. Uh, Jesse Woodward's not realized he's shot off his strength and it in the totally the only man to realize he's climbed the ladder. But oh, Gotchinami almost had it unhooked and they're just staring at one another. Oh, Henry was going to roll, but no, Woodward's called him to his feet. A kick hooks the leg. Into the Woodwax! These two at the top. Is this gonna. Oh, gotcha, Nami. Okay, I'm just gonna. And. Is that gonna help? Was... Hmm. Do 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 Just ignore that if you Because <laughs> that was gonna be stuck like that forever. And oh my god, Pump Handle you're an idea. And Woodward He's the only man left standing, him and God's an army both pushed over the ladder but up oh, speak of the devil he shall appear. Oh but he shall also get wet with the ladder and Gotchinami Woodward, what's he doing? I don't think he has enough stamina to actually lift it. The will of the gods. No, oh, thank you. Oh, Gotchinami! Nada to take you out! Gotchinami, he's got a, he got him painfully, and now Woodward. And, oh, they're fighting. And, Oh, can't stand flying to the outside, and now Henry Allen. Oh God, he just got wiped out with that bunch. And oh, he tried to hit him with the ladder, and Henry Allen, Henry Allen, high shot, sends him over the top. And ah, oh, suplex from the apron. Oh, the ladder. And Henry Allen, he knows what to do. That's the second time he's utilized that ladder to great effect as part of his offense. And oh. Eddie with the power bomb shot to break on the outside but Henry Allen this may be it he might be walking away briefcase in hand he's got it ladies and gentlemen Henry Allen has picked up the win and he was the most tactically sound person in this matchup got reach power bomb onto the ladder to Barry Starr early and he almost got the briefcase unhooked the first time round but his well his Parkinson's played up a bit but now well he the suplex from the apron onto the ladder and Jesse Woodward couldn't make his way to his feet the others were all balling out outside banking on the Parkinson's to play a factor again but ladies and gentlemen here is your winner Henry Howard and Henry Allen don't call it a comeback on the back of his jacket when he was making his way to the ring it, it said he's back to break more and well he's looking to become a world champion once more former French pro wrestling world champion in his own right so 
A living legend just won new setup best up in the Concords. And the crowd is the shocked but before we get into the CCW World Tag Team Championship match, I need to stay hydrated. ATWE NXT Tag Team Champions for pretty much the entirety of Season 5 and the men on your left the Prodigy Dan Lee and Iggy the High Fly Misfits set to go off against Yaboru and Dostanoz Tag Team name pending Tag Division is not the strongest here but Yaboru and Dostanoz looking To, well, will their way into living memory as long as possible. But as soon as this. Why would you want to fuck water? It's for drinking, not. not fornication. Eek. Ba dum bum. <laughs> Shitty jokes, <laughs> but we're about to be underway, or at least we're about to start bringing them out. Is Jojo still in the ring? Let's hope so. Ding ding ding! Is that gonna happen? Nope. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a tag team bout scheduled for one ball and is to determine the inaugural Class of Championship Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Introducing the competitors for us currently winning way down the aisle, the team of the Prodigy, Dan Lee and Iggy. They are the High Fly Misfits. And these two, for those that didn't watch ATWE NXT, they were the tag team champions for the majority of season five, and well, they're looking to become tag champs here in the Colossal Championship Wrestling as well. But first, they have to beat these two, who I apparently didn't give an entrance. Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing their opponents, the team of Dos Tonos and Ea. Dustin Oz, the man on the apron. Yeah, Bordu, the one coming up the steps. And, well, apparently I forgot to give them an entrance, so that is <laughs> my bad. In any case, this here is what they're fighting for. The World Tag Team Championships. And is the ref going to present the titles? Yes, there they are. Held aloft for us all to see. And we are about to be underway. And Iggy and Dan Lee. Now, they're a great tandem. Just ignore Michael, I guess. But. Yeah, prepared to win. And up oh, into the wrist clutch. Go behind. Wrist wrenched now. And nope, oh, go behind of his own hook. Oh, the wrist clutch here is the focal point of this exchange and relinquishes it. And now it turns him back around again. Side. Russian. Oh, reverse. The face buster. And oh, into the mat and lifting him up. Wrenches the shoulder, the arm to the shoulder and catches the knee for the elbow drop and he falls back into the turnbuckle. Oh, tornado DT! And around the world and back again. You land on your head, my friend. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. 
And oh, left into his feet. Oh, Hakurana. And Iggy, he's getting isolated by Dustin Oz and Yoboru. Dan Lee's gonna be looking for a tag, but Iggy getting worked on here by Dustin Oz. Up, oh, oh, double foot stomp, Vanna. Lifting up to his feet now. Irish whip over the top. And yeah, boy, pulls him down. Oh, kick to the side of the head and once again same rules as ATWE no count outs and tag team matches at least we aim to enforce that oh stomp to the nose there and Iggy oh was that side kick to the midsection I believe it was our Russian announced team right there and Spanish announced team evidently have disappeared Oh, fine, it's Gary Flapjack. Lifted to his feet now, and oh, what a forearm. I don't know what that Russian announce team are doing. They don't have any headsets. Yeah, Spanish announce team's gone, so we need some better commentators for our international broadcasters by the looks of it, but gets spiked with that DDT. And oh, right into the Russian announce table. And lifted to his feet once more. And, oops, suplex. Oh, oh, he's held onto it. And the crowd evidently know that. Suplex two. And he's looking for a third. Three out of best. That triple suplex. Dawson Oz, he misses and he begs off Eggy, But Eggy, he's not going to play along with him. Oh, bounced him off his feet. And suplex, snap variety. Iggy now, he's. His nose is. It's like reindeer, Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer, that nose of his at the moment. I've just noticed that. Oh, super catch on a mad section. Oh, drop kick, fall away variety. Now Iggy. Oh, gets caught for punch. Straight right and. Oh, returns a favor. Fine is carried a prequel. And up, oh, he's got him by his head now and bounces his face off the LED board on the front of the ring. And now, I should, no, not an I should, but he just chucks him back into the ring. And oh, he's followed him in. I thought he was going for something special from the apron, but no, Dustin Oz. Oh, God, what a DDT spiked him in. He spiked him because he didn't like him and now gets caught that jawbreaker. Oh, drop kick blocked. Clubbing blow to the small of the back and it's enough to halt his momentum and back to the outside we go. Oh, back outside we go, but not gently. The drop to the arm, the pinpoint precision of Dos Tanaz from the top to the outside. But gets the other arm for a punch and you see him shaking his arm, it's hurting. Oh, Dustin Oz's weight came right down onto the arm. And now, ah, face bounce off the LED board again. Dustin Oz, no mercy for Iggy at the moment. And he's exhausting himself with this offense. And Iggy's just got to try and bide his time until he can make a tag to Dan Lee because the prodigy is yet to come in. And, oh, heart Karana. And now... Oh, forearm, and I think neither of these men have stayed, have stayed hydrated completely because, wow, a collapse in every now and then. Exhausting themselves with the amount of offense they're doing to one another, and oh, spinning heel kick missed. And hoop, double wrist lock, but ah, punches to mid section. And Iggy oh, gets caught for brutal right to the face and he staggered him and oh, DDT spiked him. This is very much just a brawl on the outside. Tag team wrestling secondary and oh goodness me Iggy. Uh oh watch out your board who's hopped out and oh, kicked to the midsection and the crowd does not appreciate it. Oh brain buster on the outside. 
and Dustin Niles is loving it. And Hark running out. Oh, face first into the barricade. You gotta be kidding me. Off that ring post now. Knife edge chop. Lyman's carry possession. And face first to get off that. Ali D board and this time he, I believe he's drawn blood. Yes he is. Proverbial Crimson Mask. Dripping it. Oh he busts it against that Ali Z board again. He's trying to make it bleed completely. Trying to bust that wound open even further. And the blood's everywhere folks. He's oh he's managed to make the tag, but he, he's a non-factor in this match now. Dan Lee is gonna be a handicap essentially because Iggy the blood's pouring on him the outside and Eggy is out for the count I'd say but Dustin Oz trips out Dan Lee and he's got to try now does Dan Lee to beat both Dustin Oz and the Abortu but I don't know if he can he's got him up now just deep arm drag Dan Lee has been rearing to go but Dustin Oz does not want to get out of the way of that offense. So he's cut him off at every pass he can. And uh, there's that jawbreaker now. Uh, Lufez ends off flyer of rights. And oh uh, Danley gets caught with the kick and now your border again. Involving himself where he doesn't need to and that spike TDT into the pen for the win. One, two, no. Yaboru, he is, oh, Iggy's back on the apron, but look at the blood. You just briefly saw it when the camera panned up a bit. But it's all over his chest, that wound. It got spread open, just, it got torn open. Ah, oh, the second time bounced off that. Yeah, look at him, he's a bloody mess. And Dan Lee, oh, face rest off the turnbuckle now. Into another turnbuckle. Oh, face rest off the turnbuckle for Dustin Oz. And, oh, spinning, low thunder bomb. One, two, kick out. And Dustin Oz looking to try and get to your body, but Path blocks it, Dan Lee. He's got him up. Jackknife. Set up, power bomb into the man. Oh, man. Two, three. And your body. What was that plan? The high fly misfits. Iggy weathered the storm. He took it to Dustin Oz, and when he was too beat up to continue, made the tag to Dan Lee, and Dan Lee finished off Dustin Oz. What's he had Bodu? He cost his team. And this here did it. He pinned his arms down so he couldn't reach the ropes without having to lift the shoulders and he couldn't lift the shoulders because he was out for the count and with that ladies and gentlemen here are your winners by way of pinfall the team of the prodigy Dan Lee and Eggie the high fly misfits And there they are, your first ever CCW World Tag Team Champions. And look at the state of Eggy. Blood pouring down. Now we go on to quite the marquee match. One half of the ATW Tag Team Champions. The founder of ATWE, Arch, taking on the Marshall Mayhem Champion of ATWE. T Dog, and then, well, after this, there's only one more match, and that will be the main event of the evening, folks. As we'll be seeing, and.
and his support for him <laughs> by prime time but he wasn't so optimistic for himself And here we go. I can modify him. He went with the shitty little things and the. <laughs> but never mind that because we're about to be underway because. Ring the bell, damn it. <laughs> okay, is the bell gonna ring or are you just gonna be no entrance? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a singles bout scheduled for one fall. Introducing the competitors first, currently in the ring, fighting out of Ontario, Canada, wing in tonight, and undetermined weight, he is a natural horse. Wing in an undetermined weight. Actually, I think I have the weight of the course somewhere on. Two hundred and thirty five pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing his opponent. Currently made his way down the aisle. Taylor. And this here could have made in any show. This match is why it's featured so prominently later on in the night. Two of the greatest wrestlers to set foot in an ATWE ring looking to apply their craft here in Colossal Championship Wrestling. And wow. Nothing on the line except pride and perhaps Archer's career, depending on how far T Dog looks to go in this one. I mean, you can punch the giraffe in the dick, so. <laughs> and there it is, nameplate shown. Both of these with very late nameplates. <laughs> and we are underway, and look, T Dog, no respect for Archer, evidently. At least doesn't believe him to be too much of a threat. Colin now by typing, overpowers the larger man as T Dog. And oh, broken up. Clean break and oh, oh half and half spikes him on the back of his head. And T Dog's getting a rude awakening too. The fact that Arch is not someone to take lightly. And now, oh, knee avoided and off the ropes now. Drop down. Oh, knee of his own and kick to the back and. Notice the slight hesitation to make sure it hit the neck and oh right there straight to the neck and the side of the face just wrapping around him. That was the leg and nope. Punched him midsection just above the belt. And oh again. Oh now punched the knee. And oops brings his arm to the mat and oh armbar. He's gonna reach further and oh he's not tapped and he's relinquished it. T-Dog, he's got Arch on the knee, over oh, Arch punched the belt as well, oh, punch back, punch, just punch after punch and punch again and, oh my god, oh, just 
wraps him around for the face buster. This jawbreaker and oh, oh, pop up into the meteor all the way, pushing out for the bed. Oh, but kick out before count of one. And oh, goodness me, get off that chin lock, the rear chin lock and the rest, making sure it's not underneath. Make sure it's a legal hold, but Archer's got to get out of this unless he wants to go to sleep. Tito wrenched away, but oh, he's let go of it and he's gone for the pin now. He reckons he's done enough. One, but the natural says otherwise. Kick to the back. Swoops the leg. And Arch now gets caught with the elbow. I think he's gone for a headbutt. And oh, running single leg drop gap. T Dog and control once more. Irish whip into the turnbuckle. Oh, nobody home. But he stops himself before he needs the turnbuckle. And oh, Stinger splash in the corner. And oh, rolls through into the panning predicament. One, two. Oh, but he's kicked out of it. And oh, oh, kick to the midsection. Spikes him on the DDT. Lift him to his feet now. What's he gonna mind? Oh, what a boot! And Arch is trying to catch his breath. T Dog starts doing Arch KO! That could be it out of nowhere. One, two, but T Dog kicks out. He gets the shoulder off the mat, and that could be enough to start it, the t hog doing what most can't he's kicked out of the arch KO only one other man in recent history has ever has done that and that was Eric Daniels up in for ten now one kick out at one and t hog I think he's getting his wear off all back oh knees knee 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 and stomp, no, T-Dog gets caught the uppercut but T-Dog just slaps away the hand in a right and he's on the ropes kicking away the knee and oh he's collapsed and he's clutching at the knee but T-Dog he's not gonna let up he's tired of the knee and you know what comes next folks packs the legs sharp shooter and Arch has got to escape this but he can't, he can't And you saw t Dog, uh, amazing strategy, just, he broke the knee out from underneath him on the ropes. The only thing that was holding him up was the ropes, and he took him away from the ropes. He collapsed immediately, clutched the knee, and amazing victory here. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your NMI winner submission, t Dog. And look there, it's a great sign of respect there. And... Arch limping out of here quite literally. And <laughs> the damage was done to the knee. And T Dog picks up the victory here. And gets the handshake. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we will be moving on to the main event of the evening. Lewis Williamson, the big owl taking on the Hitman Sean Hunter seemingly appropriate title considering what maneuver just won T-Dog to match but he's not that type of Hitman oh no the longest reigning NXT champion of season 5 only lost it because he was forced to defend against 29 other men at once but now We'll be getting out of the way. I'm going to have a quick swig of my drink so I don't break my voice, but... Whew. And the next person to be challenging the winner of this match will be Henry Allen. So you got to be 
it's for certain he's backstage watching this one he wants to know who the first champion is so he can uncrown them but never mind Henry Allen for now because here we go Ladies and gentlemen of the contest is your main event of the evening and is a singles bout to crown the inaugural Colossal Championship Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Introducing the competitors first, currently in ring, Lewis Williamson and the Big Al looking to give Sean Hunter the big L and walk away with the World Heavyweight Championship but I don't know if that is likely to happen ladies and gentlemen now introducing his opponent Curly wings way down the aisle is a hitman, Sean Hunter. And Sean Hunter, a very dangerous man. He, for those that aren't ATWE NXT historians like myself, because I was the one that, well, did everything around it basically, he wiped out about three or four men before it become the world champion he took out Owen Pierce in fact Owen Pierce he was there like first two weeks he only made his return in the Royal Rumble that happened in NXT so he was wiped out for about eight ish months thanks to this man and that was after one match with him so if you're Lewis Williamson on the outside you are worrying about what could happen to you in this matchup this atmosphere here is unnerving to say the least but the show must go on CCW World Championship on the line and there it is Toyota Suzuki holding up the strap for everyone to see at home and we are under Way. And oh, Lewis Williamson out the gates, runs in to overhead ballet to ballet. Kicked to the back and. Oh, gets caught with the punch. Oh, kicks out the leg. Punch of his own now. Oh, forearm. Kicked to midsection court. Oh, the, oh, the lariat. And oh, punch to the midsection. Oh, the lariat again. And reminder if this ends in double count out oh send it to the ring steps we'll have to find a new contender for Henry Allen to face at the next pay-per-view because if it's a draw neither of these men walk away from the championship and oh suplex his head bounced off those steps and Lewis Williamson ends the ring breaks the count he doesn't want to win the title off a count out he wants to hurt Sean Hunter on the outside here and okay deposits him back into the ring and oh elbow dropped unprotected right to the face no elbow pad to stop any of the impact and one kick out at one and elbows to the shoulder joint and the big owl now oh he's sitting out on the leg <laughs> oh, dragon screw by Sean Hunter, and he's he's stalking him. All right, swoop into the corner, oh, bouncing out of it, lifts him to his feet. Oh, just a brutal overhead blow, and oh, four heads. Four heads into the turnbuckle. Oh, 
Oh, goodness me, Larry Atto. And he's almost lost his head. Oh, God. Dead lift. A shout out. A gut wrench power bomb. He's just taunting the man who's challenging the winner of this matchup. Into the pin now. No leg even hooked. One. Oh. The kick out. The stomp. And up to the top rope. What's he got in mind? Oh, he's calling Lewis Williamson to his feet. And oh, that from that top. That is quite the blow. Look at this now. Oh, he's using the wrist tape. Oh, just raking it across and oh, stomp to the back. Punch the side the head and slams his face in the mat. Sean Hunter knows no mercy. Sean Hunter gives no ground and into the pin now for that. One. Kick out by Williamson at one. Lewis Williamson picks the legs and he's looking to have a big fight. There's a stomp to the arm. And. Oh, oh, oh my god, the Williamson special, the knee bar. He just cinched it in out of nowhere. Williamson special, but Sean Hunter, he didn't look like he was phased or how much. He hasn't worked on those legs at all. He evidently didn't watch, didn't watch what T-Dog did to Ars in the prior match. Got work on the legs first, the Williamson special. Evidently nothing special about it. If Sean Hunter can escape so easily, but now pin, but rope break, ref have to call it. But he's going to have to call it very soon, because Sean Hunter, he's got him by the arms and oh, there's the spike butterfly driver. The hunt is over. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and the inaugural Colossal Championship World Heavyweight Champion, Shia Hunter. And well, he's gone the handshake from Williamson, and surprisingly enough, Hunter accepted it, but now he's posing in. Well, Toyota Suzuki going to present him to the championship from behind and well ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in I suppose we have a quick run over the show card again just to go over what happened tonight we started off the night with Blake busting open prime time after getting power bombed to the outside Blake popped to his feet the surge of adrenaline, perhaps just the shock hand set in from being power bombed to the outside and he just laid a brutal elbow and the unprotected elbow that caught the forehead of primetime and just tore the skin away and he was bleeding like that and well, inaugural first blood champion is Blake. And then after that we had a great tag team match as the Hydration Nation put down the revolution and then Owen Pierce he violated the Petro curse and managed to eventually pick up the victory over Patroclus with a frog splash. But then in that fatal five-way ladder match to determine who would be the challenger to the eventual winner of the main event, Henry Allen, move after move onto the ladders, he managed to... What was it? He... Oh, that's right. He... Gut wrench power bomb Jesse Woodward. Oh no, he gut wrench power bombed the back of Barry Starr's head onto a ladder and he vertical suplexed from the apron into the ring onto a ladder. He suplexed Jesse Woodward, so managed to climb the ladder without any work and well, without any worries. But Iggy got battered and bruised, he got bloodied by Dustin Oz. But. He managed to get the tag and 
Dan Lee, well, he picked up the scraps. He finished off what Iggy started, and they walked away. It's the World Tag Team Champions. Then T Dog, he showed why he's the Marshal Mayhem Champion. He made Arch Tap. And then, well, you just saw Sean Hunter in the main event. He picked up the victory over Lewis Williamson to become the inaugural CCW World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Dallas Greenleaf. You've been yourselves. Thank you for tuning in. And enjoy the rest of your nights and days and such. If it will let me. Yep. Yeah. Just this is the awkward bit where I failed to end the stream.